So going on to the next uh, indicator that we'll be looking at, water stable aggregates. And this is a, a pretty good uh, um, uh, indicator that we can look at. And it's very visual. So what we'll use is the strainer method here in the field since we have soil moisture. If we had the opportunity to take these, the, these samples back and have them air dried, then we could use the, uh, the slate tubes or the cylinders filled with water and we could identify uh, what, if the aggregates are stable or not. So to use this in the field, we will- Is actually, that the one where the water gets cloudy when you drop it in there? Yes. So we're, we would actually, yeah, we'd, you'd take it and, and have it submerged within the water on some type of screen. And as the water's trying to fill it in, if it breaks apart, then there's no aggregate stability. They're, if it stays 80% intact, then the, the, what, the aggregates are stable. So in terms of using this in the field, we'll take some soil from the surface from our, our, our test hole. Remove any- Pour the water. Yep, you can actually take this and put some water in that for us. And basically what we have here is just a, a sink strainer from uh, any any little store that you can acquire those. You're going to dip that in here? Yep, we're going to dip that in there. So yeah, I need a little bit of depth there. So we just want to crumble that up. To fill that up, I'd keep that lid off because I want to make sure that we get it saturated. And I'll just place this in here. Oh, so you got us deep enough. We'll just leave that sitting there for just a, a while till we can see that that entire sample gets saturated. We can pull that out. We can see that some things fell off there and it did cloud the water just a tad. We'll let that drip. Actually, we're gonna just flip this over onto our lid. And what we wanna observe is the shape or the form that that sample either maintains or if it actually comes apart. So we can see that it, we're seeing a little bit of water that is trying to leave the sample around the sides. Mm -hmm. um, but we can see that uh, the majority of, of the, the sample that we turned over is remaining intact. And we're actually seeing the water leave and, and run out of this sample. But what we're seeing left is those aggregations um, where that soil has intact or, or has stable aggregates and the water is actually leaving through the pore spaces within that sample that we created. So it's staying together, not, so not staying together. like a... If, if this was in stable aggregates, it could have been very uh, possible that this whole uh, sample, once collapsed. we flipped it over, it would have collapsed and it would have looked very pudding-like or, or just like a, a squatted right. mud. Um, so this is uh, equated to a slump test. So if, if it had... Great. Yep, with concrete. So if it had poor aggregate stability, it would have slumped. It would have it fell, it would have flattened out. And we can see that this one is, is maintaining its, its shape. So in looking at the criteria for uh, water stable aggregates. It remains intact. Remains intact. With aggregates apparent. Aggregates apparent. So we can actually see those crumbs. aggregates, the little crumbs um, uh, that were built by that soil biology. So, we are meeting that criteria.